We've got a single coming out next month. We've got two new tunes. One song's kind of poppy and one song's kind of heavy. So it's the best of both worlds. Speed Metal's coming back with a vengeance next year. There's nothing wrong with a little metal influence but who wants to limit themselves? We want to do everything and anything. There's good metal too though. There's Black Sabbath and then there's bad Danzig stuff. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of metal. Anybody that doesn't like even just a little bit of metal is penisless. The penisless? That means that girls don't like metal, but is a clitoris just a small penis? Yes, it is. What about hermaphrodites? If you do not like a little bit of the heavy metal, then you are stupid. After seeing what it turned the audience in Seattle into, it's the worst thing that could have happened. Because... He's not on Sub Pop. The Melvins aren't on Sub Pop. Well, the Melvins aren't, but I play on a couple of songs on their record, so therefore I am on Sub Pop. There's nothing wrong with the bands or anything like that. It's just that all the people up there just take it for granted. They think, we are so cool. Social politics involved man. Everybody just all of a sudden said, oh we have the scene. It's really cool and new so now let's have really cool and hip. All across the nation we've talked to people who say, I am moving to Seattle because there's a scene and it would be really great and there's a whole bunch of great banks. But really there are only just as many bands in Seattle as there are in any other town. It isn't like a big explosion of great bands and an awesome togetherness type of scene like when punk rock was never a few years ago. As far as I'm concerned, the media and everything else missed the scene. The scene happened in 1985. And it was really cool about 1985. There's cool bands, I mean, Mudhoney's a cool band, but anybody who buys a record like, oh this is a sub-pop record so I'll buy it, is kind of screwy. People don't walk around wearing sub-pop t-shirts, they wear Mudhoney and Tap t-shirts. Yeah, but what's on the back of them? A big sub-pop. Yeah, I don't know. There's some good bands on there and that's why it's popular, because there are some good bands. Yeah, we're just fucking great, goddamn we're the best. 